हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ अमृत राज एंड वेलकम टू सी डी एस व्यू राइट सो इट इज़ अ लॉन्ग वेटेड प्ले लिस्ट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ आवर सी डी एस व्यू सो इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी डी एस व्यू सी डी एस व्यू ओके वेरी ब्यूटिफुल कंसेप्ट for a vapors right so introduction part what is cds view what is cds view right what is cds view so cds stands for now cds stands for core data services core data services okay core data services and it is completely based on it is based on top down approach top down approach similar to our amdp which we have seen in the previous playlist so this uh, cds view is completely based on top down approach so that is we can say code to data paradigm code to data paradigm which is one of the important features of our hana database that we have seen in the in some of the previous sessions right so when sap came with this approach core data services they made it top down approach right and it follows the core to data paradigm now what you are going to see in case of cds view that cds is an extension is an extension extension of open sql open sql in abap it is an extension of open sql in abap and the things that has been extended in case of cds view are ddl so ddl data definition language so data definition language is extended is extended here okay ddl has been extended uh, dql has been extended data query language so data query language has been extended extended okay then data expression language expression language has been extended for your cds standard okay data control language has also been extended has been extended okay data control language has been extended now what you see in case of cds view is that cds are semantically data cds are semantically semantically rich data models in sap s4 hana they are semantically rich data models in sap s4 hana here semantically semantically rich data models means we can use annotations we can use annotations in case of our cds view we can use annotations smaller smaller annotations in case of our cds view and what it does is which in turns which which in turn which which in turn drives the functionality of each of the annotation so here semantically rich data models is a feature of your cds view right and what you see in case of cds view that for creating cds view cds view we don't need we don't need to be to be pro in a web programming we don't need to be pro in a web programming this is a concept this is a concept which is new to abapers also 
सो इफ यू डोंट नो द कोर अब प्रोग्रामिंग कम्प्लीटली स्टिल यू कैन लर्न क्रिएटिंग सी डी एस व्यू सो दिस इज ए कंसेप्ट विच इज न्यू टू अब एपर्स ऑल्सो राइट फॉर क्रिएटिंग सी डी एस व्यू वी डोंट नीड टू बी प्रो इन अब एप प्रोग्रामिंग इफ वी हैव सम बेसिक आइडिया इट विल बी मोर देन इनफ यू कैन लर्न योर कोर डेटा सर्विसेज हेयर नाउ वट यू आर गोइंग टू सी इफ योर कंपनी इफ योर कंपनी इज नॉट वर्किंग on hana db that is hana database then still you can create cds views you can create cds views you don't need to use hana db for creating cds views however you might not you might not will be able to utilize the utilize the high performance or complete complete efficiency that is why it that is why it is recommended to use the C, uh, hana database okay however if you are not working on hana db still you can create cds views but you might not be able to utilize its full potential so it is recommended to use hana database because hana is the most powerful effective database for real time data processing right now if we compare with our amdp what you will see is similar to amdp amdp cds views follows the concept of code push down code push down similar to amdp it follows the concept of cost code push down approach however there is a big difference first is however cds views always returns the single result set and amdp can return multiple result set also which we have seen in the previous playlist multiple internal tables your amdp can return but your cds view can only return a single result set okay so cds stands for core data services it is based on top down approach that is core to data for a paradigm it is an extension of our open sql in a bap this things has been extended data definition language data query language data expression language data control language it is uh, they are semantically rich data models in sap s4 hana that is we can use annotations in case of cds view and we will be able to utilize its full potential right also it is uh, not mandatory to be really pro in a bap programming if you have some basic idea then you will be able to utilize the cds views okay also if your company is not working on hana db still you can create cds view but you might not be able to utilize its full potential okay now if we compare with amdp cds also follows the concept of code push down however cds view always returns the single result set and amdp can return multiple result set also okay so it is perfect now the question came came into the mind always comes into the mind if we have ddic view that is data dictionary view then why why we need cds views why we need cds view if we already have the data dictionary view from sc11 transaction code which we create from sc11 transaction code so why we need this cds view now so we will see one by one we will see one by one ddic view versus cds view cds view ddic view versus cds view so let's see that what is the use of both of this thing ddic and cds view and what is the common difference between them and why cds view is more important if we compare with our ddic view so ddic views 
cannot perform calculations they cannot perform calculations aggregations grouping etc all these things you cannot do via ddic view however your cds view your cds view can easily perform calculations aggregations grouping etc everything you can do from cds view okay now if we talk about our ddic view so ddic view supports limited number of joints limited number of joints inner join it mainly performs for fetching data from multiple tables and performing operations there but in case of cds view cds view has support of support of vast number of joints joints and unions also you can clearly see the difference between both this ddic and cds view then what you see ddic view does not support support the concept of nested views does not support the concept of nested views does not support the concept of nested views that is view on a view it do not support the concept of nested view but your cds view cds views support the support the concept of nested views nested views it supports the concept of nested views that you you can perform here view on a view in case of cds right then what you see in case of your ddic view in case of ddic view uh, dv view consumption consumption takes place takes place at application server level application server level okay but if you check about your cds view cds view is executed is executed at hana database level hana database level that is we will be able to able to leverage full potential potential of hana database full potential of the hana database and all the calculations calculations will be performed directly at the hana db level directly at the hana db level everything will be performed directly at the hana database level okay then uh, if you check another feature we can create uh, ddic view from sc11 right we can create our ddic view from sc11 but we cannot create our cds view from sc11 cds view can only be created can only be created on eclipse or hana studio it can only be created on eclipse or hana studio so if you check the clear difference you can understand why we need cds view more than ddic view right cds view are highly useful in nature and they are very popular very popular questions in interview also okay so this is all about the introduction part of our cds view from the next part we will see the implementation so thank you very much for watching the video we will meet again